Hi, my name is Robin Reynolds. I'm a creative coach living in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I know that creativity is powerful magic. I am absolutely in love with helping other people transform their lives and fill them with joy, purpose, curiosity, and passion. Today, I'm here to talk about five ways to prioritize creative activities and a creative practice into your life. I know that a lot of people struggle with finding time. I know that priorities are conflicting and we all are so busy. And so I'd like to offer you five ways that you can fit a beautiful, healing, transformative, creative practice into your life. The first one is maybe rethink your definition of creativity and use some of the resources that you have in your life, such as technology. We all have our cell phones with us all the time. And so as you're going about your day, as you are taking the kids to school, on your way to work, walking through the neighborhood, as you're at work, whatever you're doing in your regular life, look out for uh, scenes, for objects, for things that inspire you, colors that just light you up, patterns and shapes that seem beautiful or just striking visually and then take a picture of those things. Use them later to inspire uh, a drawing or a painting or a poem. You can also snap pictures or jot yourself a voice note of um, phrases that you notice or that you think of as you're driving, that you see on billboards. The world is full of inspiration. And so use the technology that you have at hand to capture some of that. The second idea is carry a notebook everywhere you go. I do this. I have a small notebook that I carry in my purse everywhere I go because I'm often having ideas or epiphanies or just words that I think of, things that I hear that I want to look up later that take me down um, a really fun and creative path. So if you have a little notebook with you and a pen at all times and you get in the habit of recording these things, believe me, you'll think that you remember them later, but you won't. So having this notebook will really help you um, contain those things and you can look at them later. But also, in my opinion, the very practice of opening up your notebook and writing things down is really inspiring and creative and it connects your mind, your heart, and your, your body. And I think that can be a really powerful dynamic for creativity. The third thing you can do is create a teeny tiny portable studio. It doesn't have to be big. You know those zipping pencil um, bags for children for school? That's about the size that you can create. Put some paper in there, tiny scissors, some pens, pencils, a glue stick, papers. Create um, teeny tiny collages as you're waiting in line or sitting on the bus. I have done this so many times and some of the most beautiful things come out of it. Now, I don't know if you'll take this as a positive or a negative at first, but one of the things about taking a creative portable studio with you is that often it starts conversation with other people. This made me very nervous at first. It made me feel very self-conscious and um, I wasn't sure that I loved it, but now I do. If I take my portable studio out in public and I'm sitting on a park bench or somewhere, sometimes someone will ask me, what are you doing? What are you drawing? And I have never had anything but a positive comment. Usually I end up having a really wonderful conversation about the power of creativity. And so that's a little added bonus that you get to connect with other people in the world. 
Another way that you can prioritize creativity in your life is find a creative partner. This is a lot like an accountability partner, but for creativity. And so this can be set up any way that works for the two of you, but essentially you are making a commitment to this person. You are stating, these are my creative goals. I would like to set aside X amount of time each week for my personal creative endeavors. You can either meet with this person in person or by Zoom and have that time together, or you can merely report back on some regular basis. Hey, Robin, did you have your create creative time this week? You didn't? Well, what got in your way? What was the barrier? How can we talk through that together and find a solution for next week? I guarantee as you prioritize creativity, as you're able to give it an elevated place in your life, it will take on a momentum of its own. And so the first battle is just finding a way to prioritize it in the beginning so that it can it can um, grow in your life and you can see the beauty and value in it. Another way you can prioritize creativity is by scheduling it. Literally put it on your calendar. If you need to, speak to the people in your life and explain to them, I'm trying an experiment. It's really important for me to access my creative side. I'd like to do this for, you know, one hour a week or 30 minutes a week. And I'm going to try to do it on Saturday morning at 7 a.m. I'm going to ask for you to please give me the space to do this. I think if you schedule it and you put it on your calendar and you take it as seriously as you take a doctor's appointment or uh, the fact that you have to be at work in the morning, you will see that it will become a regular staple in your schedule and in your life. This is a little bonus uh, that I wanted to add in. It's extra, it's six, but if you are struggling to establish a creative practice, you can ask for help from those around you. You can send me a message. I have so many um, examples and ways that I think you can implement this that I would be happy to share with you. Or drop by my um, website. I have a lot of resources there. But what I'm talking about right now is not just creativity, even though that's powerful in its own right. What I'm talking about is a mechanism in your life to help you establish more um, mental peace, well-being, health, more resilient ways of managing things in your life. This is a big deal. And it's okay to prioritize things like this in your life. You deserve that. So I want to tell you that as you implement this creative practice, you will find that it will call you back again and again. That's because as humans, we are meant to be creative. I believe that. So thank you so much for spending time with me today. And by all means, please reach out if you have any questions. Have a great week. Mwah.